Yes, um... All right. We thank you for coming. First of all, I want to thank you for coming in the numbers that you have come. Uh, I'm sure you have seen the stadium. You have gone around the, the stadium. Uh, what was supposed to happen here uh, is that uh, our works are uh, what I would describe in our own optimistic view, 95% complete. Uh, I think you've been around the stadium. We have the best pitch in the country as we speak right now. If you are a sports journalist, our green, our grass is green. It's a lush turf, a beautiful turf, a soccer dreamer. Um, we have read comments uh, about that. We have done a state of the art um, parking lot. Uh, we have done uh, state-of-the-art boardrooms, uh, in particular this is the boardroom. For those that have been here before, you can see that it has dramatically changed and it's a work of art. Um, we have also done um, uh, the changing rooms and we have done the away changing room uh, to completion, almost to completion, so that people could see the design and uh, it's, 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 it's almost done. We've done the third road around. The toilets and the ablution facilities are what is left uh, uh, for the general public. Uh, and the, those ablution facilities were functioning. I must uh, underscore uh, the, the, the effect that these ablution facilities were functioning and are functional. But what we wanted to do was to upgrade them and beautify them. So in other words, uh, because they drop latrines and other things. They have water and they can be used uh, uh, to, a, to a degree. But we are putting tiles and modern equipment in those toilets. We've already bought those tiles and within the next two to three days that will be done. So everything that requires, we have also put a demo of an electric gate at the far end, an electric turnstile, uh, uh, so that we meet the PSL and, uh, and, and FIFA uh, and ZIFA requirements. So we had invited stakeholders. Uh, the stakeholders are uh, ZIFA uh, was here, the chairperson, you saw him, uh, Lincoln Mutasa. Uh, we had the ministry here represented, Ministry of Sports. We have uh, the two uh, 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 twins, Dynamos and Caps. Their executives are here um, uh, among the audience. We have mayors from other towns so that this can be replicated in other cities. We have the mayor of Bight Bridge, mayor of Chinoy, uh, mayor of Mashingo, mayor of Rusape, and many more other mayors in their town clerks that are coming. Because we believe that what we are doing here should be a model for every city because we do these sports facilities for the citizens. And what we have done is to make this a multiplex that is a, 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 a complex that is self-contained, self-sustaining, and can make a profit for the residents and the city. So we are going to be putting a state-of-the-art shopping mall uh, there, which is a food court, a museum, a betting shop, a gaming shop, uh, and the museum is going to be the 16th library of the city. We have put... Uh, the B Arena, the other side, which is going to be completed by uh, Rofaro Marketing and City City Parking. So, uh, so this whole project has been done wholly by the city and its associates. Well, that is, the city uh, has been helped by City Parking, which is 100% owned by the city. The city has also been assisted by Rofaro Marketing, which is 100% owned by the city. So today we, are going, we were going to present the stadium to the citizens of Harare so that it, and their stakeholders so that, and say to them that the stadium, pending the adjustments that they were going to make us do, is now ready for use and we're going to agree with the PSL uh, and, and, and so that the final certification is done and then uh, the games begin. We are going to enter into preliminary discussions with Dynamos and Caps United for the leasing of the stadium. And they did write letters to, the, to my office saying that they would require to use the stadium 
for 10 years. Uh, uh, they would also want some shops. They would also want to do certain activities like fun days at the place so that we attract the sporting public. So that is what we intended to do. But uh, we, we stopped uh, in our tracks. Uh, we were by the regulator authority. The regulator authority says that it has received some intelligence, which intelligence was not disclosed to us, which necessitated that we do not proceed. And as law-abiding uh, council, a law-abiding citizens, we acquiesced to that uh, uh, order, really within the acquiesce, we were ordered as it were. So uh, we, we have no reason not to comply. Uh, I, I am not a soccer star, nor do I play football, I watch. And I am doing it for the teams and for the stakeholders that I mentioned, including uh, government itself. We are doing it, uh, including, we've been working out, flat out, for those who have been coming here, we were working on a 24 hour shift. We have done this project in record time for council. I want to thank uh, my staff, the committee that was led by Mrs. Michena, uh, deputized by Engineer Chigariro, and the various members of the committee who worked flat out to produce work of this quality, uh, work that can be emulated, work that is admirable, and the stadium that is fit for use and will not embarrass the capital city of Harare. We are ready. Uh, to give the uh, uh, sporting public, I will urge uh, 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 the PSL uh, and all other stakeholders to go and uh, inquire from the regulatory authority as to why we were stopped. We are ready, and if and when they are ready to have us uh, do uh, 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 the ceremony, we will be willing to do so. We are this residents money, this uh, residents effort, and commendably, we have done this project as a city council, and we believe that uh, we have produced something admirable. Yes, people want bucket seats. Rufaro uh, has, uh, has helped us with getting a uh, dug house. They are coming in, and uh, I think 1,000 chairs for the VIP section, and the other chairs will do them in phases uh, as we go with the project, and as the complex becomes self-sustained, sustaining. We need about 34,000 uh, seats in this stadium and we are going to provide them. And once we do the stadium and uh, seats, it will be ready to be used even by the national teams. So that is where we are. And you are free to inspect any area. Uh, we will not restrict you to take pictures. We believe that areas that need to be improved must be seen. Areas that have been done must be acknowledged. And we work together. I'm not competing with the citizens of Harare, or we are not competing with the citizens of Harare, or other companies of Harare, or even government itself. We are working together to bring back soccer as a sport for the people, for the residents of Harare. And it's also important that we do that. We can have young children, uh, uh, young soccer stars, traveling by bus, kilometers and so forth to play home games. We need to reduce their travel. Something or anything can happen. And it's a national imperative that we allow them to showcase their talent. We are happy now that we have the chairperson of the Normalization Committee. We are, seem to be back in the club of soccer nations. And we, we want to say when we re-enter, we have the facilities to be able to compete uh, 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 with other nations and to participate in the various qualifiers that are, are, are scheduled and that will be held in this country. So that is where, uh, where we are and that is what we've done. Your Worship, who is the regulator of authority you are referring to? I'm referring to, to the DISPO, uh, 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 the DISPO uh, who is in charge of Bari, what is his name? Huh? What is his name? Mafoko. Mafoko. The, the DISPO uh, in charge of this thing. Yeah. It's called Mafoko. So they've told us that uh, uh, <laughs> we can't, it's an interesting name. <laughs> you can play with it in so many ways, but I don't want to cause trouble. We are 13 days to the elections, but someone with the name Fogg has stopped us. Yeah. On that note, you are 13 days. Um,
Sorry, Mayor. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You okay. said we're taking days away from election. Yeah. So we've been hearing this rumors that it could be that the opposition is trying to use this as a political card to campaign. How far true is that? No, we are not using it as a political card to campaign. We are making a stadium for the children. People who play soccer have a limited period to play. This is what we promised the, the residents. You know our counterpart opened the airport, isn't it, uh, across the... They opened uh, uh, some other things. Uh, a, a gate was opened at Josiah Matongoka and so forth. So we are opening a stadium, isn't it? Are they doing it for the elections? They are doing it because people need to get into the airport to travel. People need electricity to cook. It's not for elections. We are doing this for the sporting public and it is the job we told people we were going to do. And we have done it. So we, we, if the people feel happy that the Harare City Council has brought back soccer, to Harare. Then so be it. That is what we are in there for. We are not ashamed on delivering on our promises. We are happy to go back to the residents and say, we say soccer is coming home. And we have built a beautiful home for soccer. Thank you. Yes. I just wanted to, to get a sense of some insight as well. Um, the, the, the pressure, um, we also did some rounds, and like you said, it's 95% complete. I just wanted to ask on that one, is there a bit of added pressure from, from the stakeholders? That's why I know people want to go back in Harare. I think even the, the, the NC chairman was talking also about the national team. This could be an option if it comes out well. just wanted to find out, it seems some areas are functional, others are not. So why are we here now and not maybe when you are done? Why, what well, well, a stadium is never done, my brother. Yeah. Right now, if you go to, to Rio Madrid, Half of it is closed. Yeah. It's being repaired. A road is never 100% done before you drive it. Right now you are driving to Mashingo Road. Uh, it, it, it are all aspects finished? The Bulawayo Road. There are certain things in construction that get used before they are completed. Part of you opening it is also stress testing it so that you are able to use it. So you can't build a, a road to Mashingo. It say no one travels to Mashingo until I finish the road, including the last line uh, when you enter into Harare City Council. Yeah, but it's a, it's a nice analogy, Mayor. Mm. When you talk about football, if you have one dressing room done and another one incomplete, that's a still a vital part. You, know? you talk about the No, no, no. Yes. What, what, what yeah. we are doing is that they are being done sequentially. You do the first changing room. It's completed. The stakeholders see it. They agree with it. The, the, the works that we did in the other exchanging room were only 48 hours. And it, once we get the feedback from the teams that are going to use who are here, we then finish the part that is to be finished and adjust the part that we need to adjust. And then we put the tiles on the toilet. I, I think even the World Cup Stadium, uh, if you are to be honest to ourselves, some of them were done after the second round. Some of them were finished for the semifinals and so forth. We, what we are doing is we have to work in tandem with our regulators. They have reached this stage. They have told us, look, come, present the stadium to us. We will do the finishings together with you. Why least we use the what? The stadium. Because the other finished, otherwise, dog on a Kwami second city to the Zagisa statue, yeah, Jucha, forget, or on the dog pet Zag to align the white up. For as far as we are concerned, and the work that can be seen by everybody, that turf soccer can be played, uh, it's done. That uh, the toilets are in use, but we are making them nicer, we are putting tiles and resistance, which are bought and are already on site, which will take 48 hours. The, the, the parking is there. You can park. Uh, 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 there are even worse places that people are parking in town. Uh, the, 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 the stadiums, the, the stands are there. Everything for, for a stadium is there. We will do the finer touches 
together with the stakeholders, but the cheering for soccer would have begun in Rufaro Stadium. And we were presenting it to the citizens and to yourself. Your, your room uh, that you're going to use, is, is, is you, you can see the tiling is done. What's left is the, the frame that closes uh, uh, so that, uh, not that you're not exposed because it's going to be seen through. So that you just feel good it's closed. <laughs> The, that it all will not have any functional purpose except to go to room. But that place, you can use and you are going to use. How long do you think it will take us to put that little thing? A morning. So, we are there. Okay, you said, uh, <coughs> you said that, uh, you said that you wanted to use the team so that they can assess for you. Is it like you guys don't have your own people of issue? Or you want to like we don't have a what? No, no, no. We are going to lease this property to the club. He used it one time, was used for dog racing. Okay? So now, if you are going to lease it out to a soccer team, you need to make sure you are moving with the, that team. It's like if you want to lease to someone who makes shoes or who does drinks, you need to make sure you can't finish the whole project without talking to your main tenant. So we have been moving in tandem with the Dynamos, with PSL, so that we are able to work in tandem with them as we do the inside. Our armor tomb at the stadium, the dressing room is 80 square meters. So how many cubicles do you want us to put in that 80 square meters? Do you want us to put a bed in the middle for when a player is recuperating? Do you want a TV? What color do you want for that to be painted? Do you want it to be white? Do you want it to be blue? Do you want it to be neutral? Those kind of things. If we were going to solely list it to the dynamos, we we're going to make blue the predominant what? Color. If we we're going to solely list it to Caps United, we we're going to make green and the advertising boards the predominant color. And then there are things that they also want for them to use this place. Mm. Mm. Yeah, um, for the feedback and the insight from the clubs, I'm, I'm curious now um, with, with regards to, to the budget. Um, I don't know if you can share how much, what, what the budget was for this project and with the specifications they want. I'm assuming, who knows, there can be even more money as well that were churning out. And also, number two, just to maintain it. When this place was closed, I think there were issues with the resources for maintenance of the stadium over a, a, a previous period of time as well. Just want to ask, well, as far as that is concerned, just the idea, you told us it's supposed to make a profit? Just yeah, it's supposed to make a profit. Well. Yeah. It's going to make a profit. Mm. What we have done is we have created a multiplex. Mm. Remember, one of the flaws of this stadium was that it was meant for one purpose. That is to just play soccer and everyone goes away. Now that is well and fine. If you are using it every week and you are getting maybe 50,000 US per, per game and so forth. But our society does, is not able to pay that much. So we need to make it a multiplex. And in any event, most stadiums right now are now multiplexes. They have shops, they have breweries, they have games, they have betting shops, they have clothing, they have hotels, they have conference centers, they have a lot of things. So we were modernizing it. So we are anticipating that with the range of commercial activities that we've put on this stadium, it should be able to sustain itself. And we are going to ring fence by way of council resolution that a certain percentage of whatever revenue is coming from here goes back to the maintenance of the stadium. Not only this stadium, but Sivarasekwa, Gwanzura, and other small stadiums that are littered around the city. We are going to use this as a model to create a community center, a community business center. And we are also going to take care to beautify. If you look at this project, we are very much concerned about the aesthetics, the beauty. It must be something that if you are young, you can convince a, a, a fellow young person to say that you have uh, done a beautiful romantic outing and you can put it on TikTok. So it's not only going to be sports functional, but it's going to be eye functional, aesthetics. We are building a beautiful monument for soccer 
invite. Okay. Then, because it's beautiful, that's the second part of my question. I'm, I'm still curious. Uh, how, much, how much have we spent and what, what's the budget for the project? Uh, our FD is going to, to, to do the figures and compute what has been spent so far. But I, I think we have spent far much less had we not done it ourselves and had used outside contractors. We have used our own builders, we have used our, some of our own materials, we have bought directly from the supplier. If we needed cement, we went to the cement shop. If we needed hardware, we went to the hardware shop. If we needed electricity, we went to the electrical shop. So we have done everything at the barest minimum cost rather than uh, output. If we needed paint, we would go to the paint shop. Our city has a history of building things. We used to build uh, uh, these uh, stadiums. We used to build water reservoirs. We used to build dams even. We used to build the flats that are built there. We are built by our department called Nyen. We are going back to basics. The city is going to build the city itself. This city is not going to be built by taxpayers in Binga. It's not going to be built by taxpayers in Gweru. It's not going to be built by national anything. This city will be built by the residents the way it was built before. And we are going to have that department. And that is what the lesson that we needed to put out there, that this city has capacity to build things by itself. Thank you, Thank you.